Hi, hi, beautiful souls on YouTube. How are you guys doing? Um, my name is Gina Nayana. I'm an intuitive healer, and every day I post a video about my realization, um, any messages that come through me, and it's something I just have this aha moment I like to share. And uh, also I have my podcast and my healing practice. But this is mainly main channel, just like a lot of the messages go through. It's a way of... Uh, like YouTube is this channel, whoever uh, need to have those messages or downloads. But anyway, tonight I'm going to make a video, uh, share a little bit more about the energy work I did. Because <laughs> I asked people, hey, what you guys want to want me to talk about? What you're interested in? And I remember um, one of the members said, uh, I'm interested in the energy work I did because, you know, those are uh, not everybody can like like resonate so i try to post those content that everybody can resonate or mostly but since people request and i'm gonna do i'm gonna share okay so actually another experience that i did energy work uh cross, have help a soul the loss of soul to cross over is actually in this house so I got this house last year in May, uh, May 14th. So I didn't really move in until end of June because do a lot of work, you know, like um, um, carpet and uh, paint the wall. By the way, if you think change the carpet and paint the wall is easy, it's not. <laughs> so, but anyway, when I, when we were working on this house, you know, um, I'm the person very aware, like uh, things. I rarely forget to turn off the light, this type of thing. So I thought I was, you know, one day, you know, I left and then I came back because that time I haven't moved in yet. So we're gonna house and I left and then I came back the second day. And I realized, I think the one of the bathroom light is on. And I was, okay, maybe I just forgot it, right? Like so busy, it happens. But that already, I registered in my mind. And I woke on the house again, and I left again. I was okay. When I leave, I make sure I made sure that no lights was on. So I was like, okay, because it's the first time I don't want to freak out. <laughs> and the second time, again, <laughs> the lights came back on. I was like, what is going on here? So before I moved in, when I got a house, I did a little bit of energy clearing, you know, sage day, whatever. Yeah, but like. When are we talking about energy work? Is that different layers of energy work, okay? You sage the house. You use Palo Santo, sage, or incense, whatever. Is this kind of the energy creating is level one, okay? So I did a level one. <laughs> now, when the lights on and off, because I did not check in the house energy, you, you see what I'm saying? You clear things on the surface, it's clear the energy out. However, if you if you don't connect with the house, the house has consciousness. People build it, so it has memory. And then I was, oh, I was I, I, because I was waiting, I was waiting after, maybe I moved in, I'm gonna do, you know, bless the house, you know, in, in drumming and rattling and checking with the house, stuff like that. But I, I did my first run, I didn't have anything happen. I was like, okay, maybe, no, not in a hurry. So I would just put a, <laughs> just put aside after the lights on or off I was okay this is after repeated a couple times I realized that there's something is here that uh, I didn't feel it's like dangerous or threatening me so I went into meditation and it went in and asked and connect and I realized that there's like a even I'm saying right that now I have this goosebump because she knows that uh, uh, even though she's not here anymore, even she's crossed over, but I'm still connecting with her energy. So she is the grandma of the, 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 um, how to say, the owner, the previous owner, previous, previous owner's grandmother, that she lived here. This house built in 1959. And she lived here for 30 years or so. And after she passed away, and that her, in her family, her grandson and grandson's wife and their family stayed here before I moved in. 
So she was always here, right? That's her first house, and then she lived here for the rest of her life. I mean, whenever she moved in, so she just confused because she doesn't see her grandson and his family anymore. And I moved in, and she doesn't know who who I am, who am I, and she just wanted me to acknowledge her, like, hey. Where is my family, and who are you, and what are you doing here? <laughs> so, I I was, but I had no evidence or no proof whether I was right or wrong. You know, just because I do energy work, just because I tap in, I locate this this figure, but I do not know whether it's true. Like, I the story of grandson, grand grandmother is after I talk to. My neighbor, because after I realized this is a older grandma figure, that she's confused, you know, um, I I kind of connected with the previous owners, some family members, that she just confused that her family member is not here, but I did not know what's the what's the, what's the relationship. So, um, I think the second day or two days later, I just saw my neighbor, um, you know, right next to my house. He's out there. I was hey, um. I just have a question. I mean, I mean, maybe it would be weird, but I just want to ask who is somebody you know a little bit older grandma figure that lived here before whoever is lived here, and I describe this person's energy, and he's like, if if that you know if that's the woman, that's the grandma, the figure, the only person I can think of is that. That the previous owner's grandmother, because they moved in here, he lived in here. My, my, my neighbor lived here for so long. That time when they moved here, um, it was probably last couple years of this grandmother's、uh, life here. So they still got connected. So he still knows who lived here and、um, what's her personality, what's her husband's personality. Her husband passed away first, then she passed away, and then the grandson took over the house, and she just he described her personality stuff. I was like, I don't I don't feel she's want to hurt me or anything. She's just confused. So I put the picture together, right? Now I know who she is, what she's doing here. So I came back and I went into the meditation again. You know, connect with her energy and、uh, call her in and just、uh, clarify, clarify. Say, hey, I am the owner right now. That I understand you lived here before. It used to be a house. However, your grandson is not here anymore. And also, that whether you aware or not, you know, sometimes people die. They do not know they die. You. Resonate or not, that's why some people, you know, some house they have this paranormal.、Um, paranormal, by the way, paranormal has different layers. Of paranormal, okay. Sometimes paranormal is the is the a place that people pass away, but they pass all of a sudden that they are they are so their spirit doesn't know that they actually, you know, the three D body is already gone. But anyway. Uh, I went to meditation, so just、uh, basically communicate with her. Say, hey, this is my space now. So, however, I understand why you're here.、Um, you have different choices. You know, I don't want to say, hey, you go out, go somewhere else. That's that's what we not what we do. You know, you you if you kick energy from one side to another, the energy is always around. So you you gonna you gonna transmute or help them to cross over. Do not leave them alone. So there's two options. Option number one is you can cross over to meet your family. You know,、um, continue on your journey, or you can just be part of this house. You know, maybe blessing the、uh, flowers, the trees out there. Be part of that. You know, you could、uh, transfer to different form to connect with this house. Now, however, whether you want to go to see your loved ones, you know, past loved ones, you. Just、uh, reunite with them, or you want to stay, but not stay in the house, but stay in a different way. You know,、um, I was like, I'm gonna keep this portal. I open the portal again. I op. I was like, you can. I'm gonna check in with you tomorrow morning. I'm gonna keep it open tonight, 
because that time I still don't live, stay here. So I was like, I keep that open. I was like, that's the portal. That's the that's the pl- place. Um, if you if you decide to cross over, you can anytime you want to. Um, when tomorrow I come back, I can talk to you to see if you are still here and you want to talk about it. We can talk about it. So I left her open for one night. The next day, next morning, I already know she crossed over because you can feel that once you are very aware senses, you can tap in that energy anytime. So next morning I came in. So the energy feel a little bit different. Feel like the con- confusion part is gone. Peace come. House is like quiet, you know, and um, I went in meditation, and I just thank her, acknowledge her, and also close the close the portal, and also I did some energy work or work as well, uh, drumming, you know, rattle, just completely clear the energy, also anchor the energy, because before I think I just put the um the bubble, bubble thing. Um, to around the property does that. Uh, but after this, I just kind of stressed it. Has the house itself, a, you know, a protect it bubble, and also around the property, four directions, four corners did that, and also download what it feels like, to, what I want to feel like to be living in this house. So I download the feeling in this house, and download what I feel like when people come to. Uh, my driveway when they actually are in my property in line but they're not in my house yet what's the feeling they're gonna feel when they step in my house what's the feeling they're gonna feel feel about it so that's the kind of full um uh, story about this uh, beautiful soul uh, that confused lost in this house then uh, how i communicate with her and work with her and help her cross over so again those experiences are not putting here for you to say yes or no on um, or whether you tell you tell me that I'm lie, lying or whether I'm over whatsoever. This is my personal experience and um I know what I experiencing. I'm not putting out there or say you have to believe or not. You don't have to believe at all. And that didn't re- that doesn't really bother me at all because uh if I put all the uh, things out there it's not for other people to validate. It's just a pure the experience I share. So um, if you think that's something, it's it's fun, you know, great. If you think it's oh, I don't know, and then honor yourself that hey, I'm not sure whether it's true or not, and it's okay because everybody's experience is different, right? So I just want you guys to be aware of that. But uh, if you feel the content, you know, feel, oh, yeah, that's interesting, and uh, I kind of like it, and let me know if you are uh, interested in those stories, I do have more of other so-called paranormal uh, things, open portal, and this and that, <laughs> I believe you guys probably have some too, you just, uh, you don't understand, uh, and uh, you cannot explain, and sometimes you experience just think, you know, you don't want to even think about that, because if you, if we don't have answer, and if we handing out, it actually bothers us so much. So actually, sometime let it go. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. So, but let me know. Um, how how do you feel about it? And uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe my channel. Uh, I just uh, you know, reached to two hundred, which is I'm still happy. I'm very very happy actually, to serve whoever is on this channel. Listen to those messages. So um, stay in touch or um. And uh, I will share more uh, every day. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm a little bit tired, as you can tell. Um, it's been a long day and long week. And the energy of the March is moving extra fast. So self-love, take care of yourself. And I'll see you soon.